You know, I'm really looking forward to today's adventure. I'm with Alex Kessler, a good friend. We're in central Saskatchewan on Tobin Lake at the Shorebird Inn. You know, Tobin Lake is sort of the unique body of water because of the size of the fish that grow in this lake. It's amazing. We're talking giant northern pike and giant walleyes. And when I mean walleyes, not very many lakes in North America grow the size of fish that swim in this lake. You know, you have that exactly right. You could probably count them on one hand, the lakes that produce walleyes consistently in the teens. It's now, you, now you're talking big walleyes, and how about northern pike? Not only teens, how about teens, northern pike up to like 30 pounds. They got a little uh, convenience store up here. They have three uh, northern pike in there that weigh over 35 pounds. So we're hunting big pike and big walleyes on Tobin Lake, Saskatchewan. Closed captioning is provided by Smooth Moves, adjustable boat seat suspensions for a smoother ride. I guarantee you, those are big fish at the speed we're traveling at that depth. It's an 80-foot scale and they're marking thick yellow like that. Like those are big fish. James, if I can map that edge a little yeah. and we troll the big, the big bait, yes. I think we'll catch a few pretty good pike right away. You can see why swim baits work so well, because they look the right size of their natural prey. Hey, this particular one's a big bite, and we troll it. The thing is, these swim baits, they actually work for so many different species of fish. Pike, walleye, lake trout, anything will bite. Get her back in, Jim. Yep, thank you. There we go. Got one. Got one. Big? It's something big. I don't think it's that big. No. What do you think? I think it's a walleye. Decent one. Got a little bit of weight. There he is. Nice walleye. How's that? There you go. See how you have it. Look at that. Big bait, big fish. Beautiful looking fish. Beautiful. That thing just clunked it hard. Is too. that right? Oh, yeah. I know. Right now, we're at the way we're fishing, we're catching both some walleyes and uh, some pike, but. Uh, you know, with these big, big baits, you'd think a look at that lure and say that's way too big for walleyes. But some of the walleyes that swim in this lake, this is not too big. And actually, those, those good-sized walleyes, they like eating big, big foods. On the way out here, it was amazing when we were seeing how many birds are out here. It's just loons, terns, seagulls, pelicans, cormorants. I mean, it's just everywhere. And you start moving around, we're doing some like uh, slow jig trolling out here. And it's just amazing. There's food everywhere. That that grows big fish. Yes, it does. You know, when you look at uh, the baits that we're fishing, you know, swim baits have become a really big thing in fishing for all different uh, fish species. We use them for largemouth bass, walleye, smallmouth bass, lake trout, northern pike, you name it. Swim baits really catch fish. There's a lot of good swim baits on the market today. Some of my favorites, the Storm 360 GT. They come in three sizes, a three and a half, four and a half and five and a half inch models. 360s come pre-rigged with a unique balanced rattling jig head. Big Bite Baits makes a number of really nice unrigged swim baits. The Suicide Shad is a hot one. Today we've been using five and seven inch models. They come in a wide variety of beautiful natural color patterns. The BB Kicker is another good option. These have a bigger body and vibration pattern over a lot of alternate swim baits. Generally, we'll rig these unrigged swim baits on VMC boxer jig heads. Alex Kessler is really an astute angler that I always learn something from every time we get in the boat together. Today we're using a technique I've never used before, which is simply trolling swim baits. Trolling has been around since fishing has been around. And if you're not a troller, I would become one real quick. While it initially may seem very simple, there's a lot of subtleties to this technique. The key is to position the bait close to, but not on the bottom. The weight of the bait combined with boat speed is a critical balance point. In general, we're trying to get our baits tracking along two to three feet off the bottom. In depths from 20 to 30 feet of water, you'll need a heavy jig. 
half, three quarter, and one ounce VMC boxer jigs are perfect. Most walleye anglers don't even carry these heavy of jigs in their tackle box. A little super glue placed on the collar of the jig will definitely extend the bait's longevity. You see how important this kicker is, little James? Next comes boat speed. Alex is using the Pro Kicker to slow troll at 1 to 1.4 miles an hour. If we're moving too fast, the baits are way off the bottom. Too slow, they're on the bottom. The interesting point here, we're not imparting that much more additional movement into the swim bait. Just an occasional subtle pull with the rod tip is all that's needed to trigger strikes. Got him. Yep. Mr. Kessler's on him. Another pike. Tobin is a really cool lake. We're down in the lower end of this lake, and this is the, the big uh, basin down in here. We're just fishing the edges of uh, really uh, deep flats that sort of dump into what? This is like the river channel. River channel edge, but we've been targeting these fish off of like what, the 20 foot edge, it seems like where the fish, yeah. where the 20 foot dumps Ooh, really quickly. Look at that guy. Great big one there, look at that. Wow. Yeah, come here. Oh, look at that guy. Yeah, oh, wow. <laughs> Boy, look at that, another beautiful pike. Wow, look at that guy. Beautiful fish. We'll get her back in the water quick. Quick. This segment is brought to you by Big Bite Baits designed to bring the big bite to your line. There's a few on that little 16 foot hill. Yeah. Oh, no. That's a fish. What? That's a fish. Really? Big fish. Oh, wow. Big, big fish. <laughs> I, I thought you were so hung up. <laughs> I thought I was hung up. I think you want me to reel in? I think get the big net for this <laughs> Okay. One. We're getting the big net out. Now we're prepared for, for action. Wow. Wow. Holy mackerel. Whoa. Wow. Come here. Come here. Oh, gosh. E easy on him. Easy. I felt it pop out of his easy. mouth, and I guess it, it got him on the side now. It was easy. Something. Because I thought I lost them. That's a big, big pike there. Gosh. Wow. Holy. Oh, that's a that's a big pike right there. Come here, buddy. Okay. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I know. There. There. Beauty. This is what we were talking about. Here, Holy. Ready. You want to get that guy out of yeah, there? Yeah, I'll see. Here we go. That's home and leg special. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That a, that's a pretty nice fish. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. I, I'm so impressed. Look at the back on this thing. Yeah. Beautiful Look how fish. thick that is. It really is. A little four inch swim bait. We're trying a combination walleye and pike uh, you were hunt. Lucky. You had that one hooked correctly. I almost <laughs> thought it was a log. Like, I know when you set the hook, I thought you were hung up on a piece of wood. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. very nice. Yeah. Pretty good for summertime pike. Pretty hard to get fish that thick and healthy in the summer. You know, right now we're contour trolling jigs, and it's sort of interesting what we're doing here is, is something that he actually sort of developed up in the Northwest Territories. Alex guides up there on Great Slave Lake, and he does this for lake trout in really pretty deep water. But it's sort of interesting, we're just taking the same thing, how what he was doing for lake trout in 45, 50 foot of water, and we're applying it to northern pike and walleye on Lake Tobin in 15 to 22 foot of water. If there was one key, with this method on this lake, the key is speed. When you match the speed you're going to the jig you have and the size of bait, it's like magic. You're in the strike zone the whole time. So pay attention to speed. Generally, we could I, I obviously move along here and cast. But the thing is, is what we're doing with this trolling technique, we're making a one really long cast and the bait's always in the tri strike zone. You're getting the bait down there and we're moving along these edges and the bait stays down there. That's what's really critical. So your ability to cover a tremendous amount of water. In this 500 yard stretch, it would take you hours to cast it. We have trolled it about five or six different times, right? And, and it's just, 
Oh, there, look at that. I'm back on the edge and he's yes. got one. That's pretty good. You got whoa. a real one there. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> She's a real snapper though. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh my Boy, gosh. Is there pike on this? Oh edge. look at this. I got her sort of You got her wrangled. No, I got her hog tied. Look at this. Yeah. Well, do you know what, see Mr. Kessel? I don't even ha actually have the fish hooked. I actually just Are you of, trying I, to tell me how good you are? Yeah, I lasso like Look that? at that. I lassoed him. Look at that. How do you like that? I'm not kidding you. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. The hook's not even in him. He said you're good. Now I got to see it. And then that bite, he just throws the lasso up there and he gets it. Look at that. What a stout fish. Boy, they're beautiful. You know, for this pike fishing, I'm fishing with one of my favorite rods. This is a seven foot four St. Croix Legend Extreme heavy power rod spooled with 20 pound suffix uh, performance braid. This is one place a high speed gear ratio reel is critical. We're using Daiwa Tatula 7.3 and 8.1 gear ratio reels. In Saskatchewan, it's mandatory to fish with barbless hooks. With a heavy jig and big swim baits, you have to keep your line tight on the fish, otherwise they will quickly shake the bait out of their Whoa. mouth. You'll notice that almost all the fish come off the hook yeah. instantly in the net. There you go. A high-speed gear ratio reel with a longer soft action rod simply makes it easier to keep a tight line on battling fish. This lake we're on, Tobin Lake, Saskatchewan, is not mapped. There's no map of this lake. On this unit, Auto Chart Live, as we're fishing, we're mapping it. The depths, the contour lines, one foot contour lines. It shows you every point, break, everywhere it drops to deep water. We're creating our own map as we're fishing. And these fish are sitting in a specific spot. And the more we mapped it, the more we understood why they were there. And then we went out just a little further and there's clouds of bait fish just off this little point that comes out. And those big pike are sitting between the bait fish and the point first drop to deep water. That's where I would park if I was a fish, right on the furthest tip out with all the bait fish coming around the corner. It's just a classic. Here's one. You got him? Yeah. There you go. I think I got a walleye. A walleye? I think so. He's got a biggie on here. There he is, James. Where? Right there. Beautiful. Whoa, there you go. Nice fish. Come here. There you go. Oh. Moving up the scale, yeah, buddy. Yeah, there you go. What a place. Yeah, I know. It's a fabulous fishery. It really is. Saskatchewan gold right here yeah. at Tobin Lake. The Edge is presented by these and other fine sponsors. There he is. Oh, see, look how, yeah, see, there, that fish is right below the boat. Pretty much. I think that's a walleye. Is it? I think so. In fact, I'm positive it is. Boy, they pull good, you know. A little bit better size one. Nice one. Yeah. Really, oh, it just got off. Really fat so. Very good net job. Look at that fat so. Wow. Look, look how fat that, that fish is. Yeah. Look at that. When you catch a fish like this, never run away to look for yeah, fish. For more. <laughs> no, never. Boy, that thing smoked it so hard. Fish have come up, they're up in like 12, 13 feet now. Yes, and I know why Mr. Kessler's getting them No, all. you don't. Yes, I do. He thinks he's, he knows everything. Yeah, well, he really he's using doesn't. a lot heavier jig. And... It's falling faster. Okay, I'm gonna let this guy go. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of different techniques in fishing, and what's really cool about what we're doing today, realistically, here's our selection. These, are, these bigger baits are what we've been using for the Northern Pike, but for the walleyes, we're actually tr trimmed down a little bit smaller profile baits, three and a half, four and a half. But the thing is, it's the exact same technique. We're doing the exact same thing. The interesting thing is, is the walleyes on this particular spot are up on the top, the 12 to 15 foot ledge, where the northern pike were just slightly deeper, which is sort of interesting, but we're actually generally fishing almost the, the duplicate technique wise, just that we're fishing with a little bit different gear. Obviously I'm fishing with a spinning rod. Now this is a seven foot, uh, six inch icon spooled with a 15 pound test braid, you know, a 14 pound uh, fluorocarbon leader, or three foot of it. Same thing, just a small swim bait. 
There you go. See? <laughs> so, <laughs> what, what? Took you long enough to catch on. What? Yeah, I know. I actually shortened up the... Uh, and put a heavier head on. That made a little bit of a difference here. And guess what variety I got in. Nice walleye. Yeah, nice one there. Come here, buddy. Oh. Wow. Look at the size. Look how healthy these fish are. These are the smallest ones we're catching. It's just, it's just unbelievable. That looks pretty good in your head. Yeah, <laughs> it does. <laughs> you know, it's pretty interesting what James said. Uh, you know, we're catching a pike off the little outer, deeper ledge, and then we moved up top. Uh, every time I cut over the top, I told him I'm marking these fish, and we're not catching them. So we downsized, caught the walleyes. And you got to keep one thing in mind. Like when there's big pods of bait fish sitting out from a piece of structure, and whether you get a big pike, a big bass, or a big walleye, don't run away. Because a big fish spot is a big fish spot. Whoa, 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 whoa. There you go, you got him. <laughs> that was him. That's what? a nice one, too. Did you see that? That's a nice one. Yeah. He's got one. Is it a pike? Uh, I don't know. Oh, what's a 16-pound walleye pike like? I, <laughs> I would like to find, I'd really like to find out. How do you think, James? Yeah. It looks pretty good. Yeah. Wow, holy mackerel. This is, a, this is a strong rascal. He doesn't like the surface. No. Holy mackerel, yeah. <laughs> what? You don't like the sunlight. <laughs> here, I'll back up a little so you can go ahead no, of we, me. we can... got him. Okay, here. Yeah. Let's see, where is this, the, the beast? There he is. There he is. Yeah, we got whoa. color. Come here, buddy. There he is. Very there nice pike. Oh, there he is. Wow. Oh, that's a real one there. I love fishing. Look, look, at, look at this thing. I mean, that thing is a, just a tank. Oh, that's a big it. pike. Wow. <laughs> That's a beauty. What gorgeous fish, huh? Beautiful. Look at that thing. We get her back in the water. We don't want to keep her out of the water for that long. The Edge is presented by these and other fine sponsors. Tobin Lake is a real bucket list fishing destination. Look at that, it's just unbelievable. Giant walleyes, pike, and lots of them. Tobin Lake monster. That is a big summertime pike. We based our trip out of the Shorebird Inn, which is a full facility operation that really caters to anglers. So our job here is to accommodate the fishermen when they get off the water. We have a full service restaurant with the bar. Uh, we have off sales, we have VLTs, we have pool table, we have all, all the stuff to keep people entertained. I built this 11 years ago. It started out with 10 rooms and uh, we've now expanded into a campground where we uh, have room for RVs and we have now built some cabins too. And we're adding on to that as we go here. So we're trying to put it all together. Good food, good service. We want to be the best there is out there. I'm really impressed with Tobin. Yeah. Tobin's in my new favorite spot. Too. Now that's a pike. Look at that thing. Tobin Lake Special, I think they call oh, those lakes. This is a fabulous body of water, it really is. And it's just unbelievable the number of fish we've been catching. Are they ever pretty out of this water? We're in Saskatchewan and a pretty famous lake, Tobin Lake, and we've been snapping plastics minnow imitating lures such as these. And we probably caught, with no exaggeration, 150 walleyes and 150 pike in a three day period. And some really nice fish, all on artificials. Start using them, get your confidence up. It's such an efficient way to catch fish. Your fishing will change forever. Tobin Lake, we're going home tomorrow. I'm pretty sad. <laughs> I'd like to stay for a little while. This is probably some of the best fishing I've ever had in the summer. Unbelievable, this place. Absolutely unbelievable. You know, my wife and I support a lot of different ministries that touch our hearts for a period of time. Uh, one of my favorites is, is Charles Stanley, who publishes a publication called In Touch Magazine. And his last issue were, was really kind of fun to look through. Some of the things on the cover, God likes to party, that'll get your attention. 
uh, 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 could Jesus take a joke? That was an interesting subject matter. This is your brain on play and a, a whole lot of other things. But when I got into it, the whole issue was fascinating to me. But let me read one key part that I think all of us have to hear and pay attention to. It says here, the reason our bodies and brains flourish when exposed to play, we were made for it. Let me go a little bit further here. Play creates more neural networks in the brain and throughout the body, making the entire body a tool for learning. And I hope I pronounced this right. Jake Panskemp, a researcher at Washington State University, asserts that play activates the whole neocortex, the top layer of the cerebral hemisphere, which higher order brain functions are carried out in. Just one half hour of fun significantly changes about 400 genes in that magnificent, mysterious organ. But as interesting as these discoveries are, scientists are only creating complex terminology for something the Bible makes plain. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. That's in Psalms 139, 14. What that means is that we were not created for drudgery and adversity alone. Rather, our Heavenly Father richly supplies us with all things to enjoy, 1 Timothy 6, 17. Christ came so we can have life abundantly. And play is one of the things that make the abundant life possible. In fact, according to Thomas Hendricks, a sociology professor at Elon University, I think that's right, play is a dynamic, ever-changing process that is filled with ambiguity and surprise. We convince ourselves that play is frivolous, profligate, I think that word is right, I gotta look it up, perhaps even sinful, but that couldn't be further from the truth. There is a reason why our bodies and brains, both crafted by the hand of a loving God, flourish when exposed to play. We were made for it. God's word all talks about balance and play is part of balance. You can't work all the time, you need to play, you have to have time to be alone, time with the Lord. Balance is the key to a successful life and God's word talks about balance in all areas of life. Even playing, you gotta have fun. God is a joyful God and he shares these experiences with us so we can live a full, joyful life. I had to share that with you. I was really blessed by this issue. Dave from Wallace here at the Edge. You have a good, safe fishing season. Hey, have some fun today. Maybe go fishing. We'll see you on the water.